Hey, it's a great day at Mills Motors, 240 Bond Street, East in Oshawa. All right, this is it, the 2020 GMC Sierra 1500 four-wheel drive crew cab AT4 edition here. You got the uh, factory two-inch lift and those distinct red front tow hooks. Fully loaded package here with a 6.2 liter V8 engine. You got all the safety controls here in the uh, premium package. It's going to include low front speed automatic braking, front pedestrian braking, the lane keep warning system, rear cross traffic alerts, and you got those Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner tires there. Your 6.2 liter badging. And you also have the task lights here. I'm going to show you that in just a second. And you have the door-to-door uh, -door running boards. The AT4 badging there. AT4 embroidered into the headrests on both driver and passenger side. Now we're going to talk about the uh, task lights here. So I'm just going to engage that by pressing it once. And when you do that, it's going to show... A very bright LED light that's going to cast out on both driver and passenger side. Or you can have it selected for uh, just one of the sides, whatever you, uh, your needs entail. And it's only going to work in park. So you can't uh, accidentally leave that on and cause problems for the uh, drivers around you. Here's your blind spot detector. There we go. That's a little bit better of a look. Right there, that's going to illuminate when you have someone in your blind spot save you from making a a lane change you're going to regret you got the carbon fiber finishes here four wheel drive select with tow mode cargo lights on off and again the task lights right there and you do have a head up display as well nice bright larger L uh, head up display for you right there on the windshield and the electronic parking brake below the perforated leather seats all throughout and power driver adjustable seat with lumbar supports AT4 badging once again on the sill pat and on those premium all weather floor mats so let's climb on in and uh, start taking a look around in here okay are you comfortable seated everything's good because uh, there's a lot to see here so you do want to be comfortable for this we're going to be here a lot you got the uh, leather up steering wheel and you also have your uh, cruise control here and the gap adjustment so you can set that up for different distances and it's going to keep you informed of the flow of traffic around you and again your head up display here on the left and the heated steering wheel which you can turn on and off just like so your headlights and turn signals and intermittent wipers all are on the left hand side and you got the uh, gear shifter over here on the right. You're also going to find your hands-free calling and voice command there. And you do have volume control behind the steering wheel. So you can crank those tunes up and enjoy it with the Bose audio, which is uh, the best possible sound you can get. So that's going to be a nice little uh, adjustment there for your addition, rather. And you got the push start ignition. Onboard navigation with turn by turn. You do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with their own separate icons there. So you can uh, have two devices uh, plugged in and paired up and uh, you can s seamlessly move back and forth. You don't have to go into the menus and change everything. It's uh, all good to go there. And speaking of users and different users, you can uh, it's going to recognize your hands-free device when you sign in as the driver. So if your passenger also happens to drive this beauty of a truck, uh, no problem at all. When you are the driver, you're signed in. It's going to find your hands-free uh, device first and foremost. There's uh, no, con uh, no confusion there. You're all good to go. Let's get to the camera functions here now. Multi-view camera. And for the first time ever, you've got a bed view. Camera pointing down there so you can uh, check on the load in the back of the truck. And you can also punch up that hitch view as well. And there's a nice LED light that shines down there towards that hitch so you can... Uh, help hook up those trailers a little bit easier in the dark and you do have additional cameras which you can punch up if you get those uh, secondary camera markets uh, you can uh, have the transparent view you can have the side view and this is another great feature here is you can punch up the uh, interior view of your trailer as well so you can uh, see what's going on back there I'm gonna go back to the camera angles here once again and show you the you've got the overhead view there front and rear 
overhead front and rear once again this surround view and the side view here as well so if you're navigating some tougher corners parking spaces you've got that uh, trailer hooked up and you want to see where you're at as far as the corner goes you can utilize this and it's going to help you uh, keep it safe on the road as well so that's a nice little addition for you and you've got the uh, trailering app so you can do things like schedule maintenance you can check at wheel temperatures to see if there's a problem back there with grinding you can go through your checklist and have different trailers names so it's going to be able to tell between the two so you have two different trailers one for construction materials and uh, one for pulling uh, rvs they're going to act differently and this will be able to tell which one you've got and give you the important information and with the my gmc app you can actually uh check those trailer lights by yourself you don't have to have anybody with you i did mention the sirius xm 360l this is going to work in very similar to your Sirius XM app on your smartphone if you've ever had any kind of experience with that. It's going to give you related content as well. Uh, so if there are any uh, channel selections here, suggestions that it can give you. You've got on-demand episodes of different shows that comes with your subscription. So that's a pretty cool little thing to have. And of course the temperature controls here, both driver and passenger side dual zone you can use the touch screen or you can do it manually down here below and you do have heated seats both driver and passenger side did i mention cooled seats as well if i haven't uh, then i have and you've got your lane keep system so it's going to gently guide you back into your lane if you start to drift a bit you can disable the parking sensors and you can disable the auto stop function so that's uh, important to some people uh, Multi-Pro tailgate, which we're going to see in just a second. You've got the power down button there. Hazards, traction control, and this will control the power to the outlet in the tailgates. And you got your hill descent control for power. Three-prong, 12-volt, USB, and USB-C. Trailer brake. Wireless charging mat for compatible smartphones. Armrest again, perforated leather, storage space on the inside, USB and USB C as well. All right, so you got the uh, sunroof above. And you also have a sliding rear window controlled by this button here. And the slide and tilt functions for that sunroof above. Manual sunshade as well. And final thing we're going to take a look at here is the high definition camera view on the rear view mirror. So right now you're actually seeing the mirror as it appears normally. When you flip this over, check it out. Much brighter and a much wider range of vision as well. What a difference that makes. And you can actually increase and decrease the intensity of the brightness. And you can zoom that camera in and out. And you can tilt the camera up and down. Very cool. All right, we're about to take a look at the Multi-Pro tailgate here in the AT4. Now, the video we're about to see is, to, is coming to you from a different truck, an SLT trim, but all the features and functions are exactly the same as what you've got here in the AT4. So let's check that out. All right, let's take a little spin through the Multi-Pro tailgate here. And uh, you do have the grab bar as well so that's going to help you pull yourself up into the truck so you can just uh, utilize that and the large steps here on both the left and right hand side that will accommodate any size foot snowmobile boots work boots and you can utilize that grab bar to help pull yourself into the vehicle and i'm just gonna tuck that back into its little place and we are going to start from scratch by putting the tailgate up now you do have the key fob that will allow you to lower the tailgate by pressing here twice and once it's down in position here you can uh, pull this piece up that's going to act as a bit of a, a bed extender there so maybe you've got some uh, off-road vehicles that need a little bit more space or some lumber now we're going to put this back up and start from the beginning once again by pressing these buttons here at the same time it's going to fold down into this position. Now what that's going to do is allow you to uh, reach on in because you've got a 
little extra space there to uh, reach on in. Maybe you're grabbing some bicycles out of the back again, some uh, work equipment. It's going to give you a little bit more range of motion. And of course you can fold that down once again and that acts as a fully fen functional step which allows you to uh, walk up on into the bed of the truck. And you're going to find that you've got the tailgate lights and you also have the 400 watt power outlet there as well. And again folding this back in position using just one hand here the entire time remember. Holding on to the camera with the other one. And by pressing this button, you can uh, fold down just the top portion here. So that's going to allow you to do a little, maybe, little workspace, maybe. Put your clipboard up there, do some writing. Rest your lunch there. And again, the top portion will also act as a bed extender as well. And putting this back in place again back in position and everything done with one hand the entire time. All right, and as mentioned there, everything is exactly the same as the multi-pro tailgate from the SLT truck. Only difference here, of course, is you are getting the AT4 badging here on the right-hand side. And this particular truck does have the Rev Hard Tono cover located above. All right, so let's uh, check out the crew cab portion of the truck now. Uh, before we do that, show you they get the Rancho brand rear shocks there, the full size spare tire, keyless entry in all four doors, and the all leather upholstery continues back here with that nice uh, two tone leather, soft touch materials, carbon fiber inlays again, and you do have rear heated seats here. Passengers are going to love that. The cup holders. USB, USB-C, 12 volt, and you have uh, venting back there, and you also have the all-weather floor mats continuing once again. Split bench seats with storage space built in here, so you can uh, store some things back here. It's got a sort of a rubberized bottom, so it's going to kind of deaden the sound if you have something lying in there like a hard object that's rolling around. It's going to make it a little bit more bearable for you. And you do have that uh, split bench seat as mentioned. And a carved out roof line, nice and tall. So if you've got some passengers with uh, some hard hats back there or some very tall passengers, no problem at all. As a matter of fact, this has a name for it. It is called the Stetson Enabled Roof Line. So there you go. You can wear your big Stetson cowboy hats and you're good to go. And you also have the rear vet, uh, the uh, overhead lighting, and again, that sunroof. And that's going to do it for your look here at the 2020 Sierra 1500 AT4 Crew Cab. You want to see this one in person, and I know you do. It's an absolute beaut. You're going to find us at Mills Motors, 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. We always do whatever it takes.